I think the series has gone on for as long as it has because it's been very carefully nurtured through the years. It's never been allowed to get stale. It's been reinvented. Silent Witness has still got its appeal uh, because the stories are so good and so relevant to what is happening today. I think the idea of the body offering up clues is still absolutely central to what makes Silent Witness, Witness successful. When I first started Silent Witness, we were asked if we'd like to go and do uh, witness, not do, go and witness a, a post-mortem. And in fact, I, I met up with Tom Ward, who was joined at the same time as me. Then we went and we spent half an hour at the post-mortem, which was pretty extraordinary and uh, unforgettable. But I'm very glad that I saw it. And then we went and had several pints of beer. I'm hopeless with the sight of blood in real life. If I have to have blood taken or uh, I've watched, you know, um, family members have an injection for going away on holiday or anything like that, even I think one of my parents had their ears syringed, I faint instantly. I had a thorn in my finger. I had to have that removed, fainted. I think the character of Leah Dalton has, has changed over the years. I think when he first started... Um, he was brought in with Harry Cunningham and they were kind of sidekicks to, to Sam Ryan. And when she left, obviously there was a kind of a bit of a power struggle in the, in the department and he, he took over as boss. She left an incredible legacy and, and left an audience with it and, you know, it's something to live up to to keep making it work. But I think the appeal of the stories... Um, and hopefully our characters, has meant that it's been able to carry on. My character, Dr Nikki Alexander, um, arrived in the series four years ago, and she was always someone who was quite a feisty, tomboyish girl um, who acted before she thought, um, and part of that is her... Uh, is endearing about her. Um, she's passionate about everything. I think when Silent Witness first started it, it had a reputation for being rather reverential. The the morgue was seen as a rather cathedral-like place where people spoke in hushed, hushed tones and there was very little noise. And certainly after my experience of going to see a post-mortem and speaking to people, it was clear that, that that's unrealistic. That was very much a television creation. Tom, who plays plays Harry, has has pushed that a lot, and he's he's a very funny guy anyway, and he's imported that into the character. And I think that that adds a little bit of spice, and as you say, lightens the mood of some of it. Tom Ward is the master of the ad lib, and he, I think, is the funniest man I've ever met in my life. And he loves nothing better than to say something that will make me laugh on camera. The way he asked me out on a drink, we did that about 15 times and all of the takes were different. <laughs> um, there have been times when I've been rendered completely incapable of speaking and we've had to stop until I, I can regain control of myself. <laughs> I have quite a few favourite episodes, but the meaning of death springs to mind um, because I think it combined the conflict of uh, Nikki questioning um, her approach to death um, as a scientific woman and also her grandmother's just died, who was a very religious woman, so she's, she's wanting her grandmother to still be there in spirit. I think the episodes that work best with Silent Witness are the ones that present a really interesting well-put-together, intriguing puzzle. And they often start with a spectacular event. For example, a car crash, a train crash, a helicopter crash, to quote some of the ones we've had. And you have this spectacular event, which in itself draws in the viewer. And then you have to piece together what happened to make this spectacular take place. And there are conflicts, there are oddities. There was an episode called Fallout, which I think is the first one, again by Tony McHale, where 
there was a, a pile-up on the motorway. And when the police moved in and kind of pieced together all the bodies, I think there were about six bodies, they had six bodies, but they had 13 arms. So there's an extra arm. So that's your, that's your puzzle. That's your MacGuffin. And that is a great start for an episode. I think crime is a huge... Uh, it has huge appeal. You look at the, you know, the amount of crime series there are on television. I love it. I love the the trying to work it out myself um, element to it. Um, whether that's, you know, you, you hope to be working it out alongside the characters, the surprise element. Um, and then I think, I hope that the characters themselves have appeal for the audience as well. What Silent Witness did that was different is that instead of police coming in and putting it all together, the forensic people came in and the body was the one. Because of their knowledge, they could take the clues from the body and that would steer you in the right direction, sometimes in the wrong direction, and lead to whoever it was that did it.